Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about why shorts are ducked and how they're going to be closing their positions and many more in this video. So make sure you guys watch until the very end. Now, sorry, we're going to be taking a look at why shorts are in a very bad position. So AMC for all set, let me do some quick math for you peeps. AMC cost to borrow average is 972% today. Let's run some calculations on that. Cost to borrow rates are annual rates, so that means you pay 972% on what you borrow in a year. So the current free flow on loan is 34.91 or 180 million shares approximately. 180 million shares times current AMC price of 429 as of close today equals $773 million worth of AMC shares borrowed. So at 972% cost of borrow, you'll pay interest only on those borrowed shares of 773 million times by the 972%, which gives off $7.5 billion. Yes, billion with a B. So how much are they paying that in a week? So 7.5 divided by 52 weeks equals 144.5 million in interest alone. FYI, that means in 5.35 weeks borrowers would have paid more than the full price of the shares they borrowed just in interest that they can never make any gain on their investment shorts are fucked plain and simple so let's break this down today if you take a look the cost of borrow 972 percent for the cost of borrow average the free flow 34.91 around 180.22 million shares so this is the most simple way of looking just how bad of a position shorts are in and how screwed they are in 5.35 weeks which again we know it's been longer than that and for the last you know three four five months the cost borrow rate has been over 100 percent for you know a very long time so in 5.35 weeks it means that it would have costed them exact amount of amc price as of today so meaning even if amc if they're shorting amc but they've held it for 5.35 weeks if it goes down to zero even if amc were to go bankrupt and it goes down to zero they will have made no money on those positions again they're paying an absurd amount to short amc for not making money let's ask ourselves why they're doing that why would you short a stock just to not make money even if it went down to 0.01 even if it went down to zero dollars you will not make any money why would you be doing that again we can see that in a year they will have to pay over 7.5 billion now again we know self-reported data so realistically the shares on loan could be way higher than that and there might be some fluctuations on the cost of borrow as well but at the very minimum it is very likely that they are paying for at least you know the 180 million shares at a rate of 972 percent so this is how much that they're paying and again this just emphasizes just how screwed they are again and it also highlights why would they do this if there isn't a reason to be you know continuously pressuring amc down you know in 5.35 weeks it will make their positions redundant it will make them not make any money and even if you were shorting at 12 dollars um or you know eight dollars it will be gone in 10 weeks if you're shorting at 12 dollars it will be gone in um 15 weeks so you know these it just doesn't make sense for why they're doing this unless it's because if the price were to go up and they will have to cover all of the positions, they will it will cost them, you know, more than 7.5 billion. It will cost them hundreds of billions, 200 of billions. It will cost them, you know, billions and trillions of dollars. That is the only reason explaining why they're willing to be paying this much for AMC right now. You know, if you take a look at today, and I think that this is quite relevant. So this is talking about um, GME right now, but I think it's also very relevant um, for AMC. And it's just a picture of two ones inside like one days until MOAS. And the reason why I say that this is relevant is because for the AMC MOAS, there isn't a particular date. We all know that there isn't a particular date for AMC. What we do know is that there are particular events which could either trigger or speed up the process of the MOAS. And so that's why, you know, instead of expecting on you know x day that amc is going to mow us we have to understand that any day possible with what's happening right now especially with what's happening right now you know with everything that is going on we could just see the mowers happen because like we know you know a mowers can happen if a certain firm gets default um margin call if a certain firm default they have to cover the position it gets liquidated etc etc and so i think that this is a very relevant post now taking a look at you know short closing so ubs has taken over credit swiss and therefore the dtccs will close the credit swiss entry at the mentioned date CS most likely still have the Archgo's exposure and they expect to even close the position out before they can close the account. So I can see two scenarios. CS or rather UBS will close these short positions and it will cause buying pressure. They find someone who will overtake 
the hot potato for them to avoid the buying pressure. I see scenario two as more likely as scenario one would slash could fuck up some other big players who aren't interested in getting wrecked. So when we take a look at the articles exposure and even the Credit Swiss exposures, you know, two of the stock to be mentioned is of course GME shorts and AMC shorts. And obviously right now we're going to be talking about AMC shorts and we know that they do have massive exposure in the AMC shorts. Credit Swiss also gave a price target of AMC at 0.95 for AMC saying it's gonna go below a dollar. And again, we obviously see where Credit Suisse is ending up. And now we're seeing is that most likely they are expected to close out those positions. But the two scenarios is one, they will actually close those short positions, or two, they will find someone to continuously hold in those short positions. Now, let's talk about both of those. Firstly, the first position will obviously help us a lot. We know that most likely have a big exposure on the short positions, whether it's with real shares or whether it's with the synthetics and the naked short of AMC. Now, if those positions were to get close, we're definitely going to be seeing large buying pressure coming up. We're going to be seeing AMC, of course, just really, you know, ramp up the price. Now, they're not the biggest shorts and they're not all of the shorts that is for AMC. So it doesn't mean the squeeze will happen. But what it could do is A, put there's more string on the people who are shorting AMC and that's why a scenario one would slash could F up some other big players who aren't interested in getting wrecked or it could just trigger the squeeze and forces other big potential you know firms out there to also cover their short positions in AMC as well because they would put the price maybe to 100 to 200 to 300 dollars and that will cause them to close out their positions or two, and I also agree this with why it's the most likely scenario, is finding someone else who will, of course, hold these short positions. But even if it's two, we have to understand is that if we take a look at the cost of borrow again, even if it's two, it doesn't matter. Because even if they were to hold their positions, firstly, they will have to find someone who is got a strong cash flow, cash flow to be holding these positions because otherwise they will have to pay you know millions and billions of um, dollars every single year and again hundreds of millions every week just to be holding onto these positions but not only that is of course they are if they don't find someone with a big cash flow then these positions will obviously get passed around and they'll rather have someone holding onto it. Now, the, the good thing for us is that if we find someone with a big cash flow holding onto these short positions, if AMC were to mow us, then we obviously know that they have the money to be paying us to be buying the AMC shares off of us. And this is why if you go back to this post, why I think is very relevant is that any day could be the MOAS, you know, for AMC. And so, you know, this is something that is very, uh, very good. You know, these are some news that, like I said, either speed up, trigger or, you know, whatever for a MOAS and this is definitely one of them so depending on what we see right now we could be seeing some major buying pressure coming in for amc and seeing some hedge funds out there some firms um short sellers of amc really get put into a corner and even if they don't close all their positions again maybe the bigger short sellers won't close out their position but will force some short sellers to close out position and that will just create a snowball effect now, if you take a look at this, you know, I'm not saying it's obvious the exact way the conversion happens and they've begun hedging the dark pools and that's why shorting apps come down, but TikTok. So what we see is Citigroup announced that it's expecting the Delaware um, Chancery Court to rule favorably on the conversion proposal. As a result, we would expect the value of AMC common units and APE units to converge, City Analysis noted. And what we're seeing is, of course, the options coming in for AMC. And we've also seen a lot of prints in the dark pools as well. Now, it's basically saying that the conversion is very likely to be happening. And when a news like this gets released, again, you know, it's news that could either trigger or speed up the process of the MOAS. And we're seeing firms really preparing for a massive price jump in AMC right now as we see them hedge into these positions. And again, I think they are scared of the conversion because they're definitely trying to bring the price down of AMC, as we can see with the volume coming in. And of course, the price going down as well. So a lot of factors right now making us believe that AMC really do have something that is coming up in the next few weeks you know we're seeing more fud news on um the internet as well amc still time to sell we talk about the balance sheet remains a week after the memes of craze and a decision on lawsuit settlement regarding share class combination could further impact shareholders Q1 results showed continued cash burn with a net debt at nearly 4.4 billion and working capital is almost in the red by a billion dollars now, what they don't talk about is firstly, you know, why the lawsuit settlement is happening in the first place. And if the lawsuit settlement were to, you know, obviously be for us and we are able to raise money, then that will obviously help the balance sheet. That will make the balance sheet strong. 
And what they don't talk about is how the debt was paid off partially and restructured. And again, talking about how the box office is doing, how AMC fundamentally is improving. They don't talk about any of those and they're just getting people to sell. You know, why would they be doing that if there is no, you know, no um, incentive for them to be talking about this? So, so many things on AMC right now of why they're trying to push the price down. And I def definitely do think that we are looking at a very, very good place right now. If you take a look at the technical analysis of today, again, bouncing off this 422 and 416 support like we talked about. If you're able to hold this, I do think that there is still potentially selling pressure coming in for AMC still. We could actually see, you know, a close within the zone. What we want to see basically at the end of this week, essentially on the Friday, is the AMC to actually close above the zone. If we're able to close above the zone, then next week we're looking at another contest with that 453 and 462. And you guys, thanks for watching the video. I'll catch you guys next time.